Hello, everybody. Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to uh, the Devil John Moulton uh, for hour hour three, the start of hour three of our of our one shot here. So, um, I think I think the mayor, uh, I think I think Gus is is very suspicious of you guys. I think uh, I think he's like, I don't think you're here to solve the uh, the mine problem. I think Leslo kind of like evasively is like, no, no, no. I, we're definitely here about the mind problem. We're, I mean, well, we were here about work, which happens to be the mind problem. Maybe not the mind problem specifically. It's like, listen, it's like, you got, it's like, I, I know, I know you guys aren't, uh, aren't for it. Uh, you don't, you don't get to be as successful as I am without being able to read people. And, uh, I think, um, I think, I think at that point you, like, you realize that, like, he actually, like, lifted up his sleeve a little bit and, like, you, like, or, like, un, I, like, undoes his, like, uh, what do you call it? The collar, not collar. Um, cufflinks? Yeah, cufflinks, thank you. And, like, rolls up his arms and you see, like, his tattoo. And, and he says, like, so, it's like, I'm, I'm pretty good at reading people. And I'm also pretty good at planning. And uh, he's like, "I'm gonna give you uh, what, I, what a quick ultimatum. Uh, you leave this town, and you never come back, or you're getting buried in the ground, right?" Hmm. Uh. I think, I think, well, I think we all know that, like, the gig is up by this point, so there's no point yeah. in lying about it. So I think Laszlo kind of just, like, brandishes the knife that he had before, and he kind of just, like, uh, uses it to prop up some of his bandages, you know, showing off the tattoo himself. And he's just like, ah, dear mayor, I would say that death is the least of the terrible things that you could do to us. So you're going to need to pull out a bigger thread if you think you're going to get us out of this town. Quinn's rolls up his sleeves, too. Mm hmm. I Pete, Pete looked like he like he doesn't feel like he needs to. It's kind of pretty obvious now, but like uh, ah, uh, so it's like so we all have a mutual friend. Yes, yeah, some, and sometimes friends turn out to be something problematic. Something it's like probably you probably both say at the same time, like the same word. Yeah, some certainly uh, we're looking to uh, settle some debts. If you can help us settle those debts. We'd be much obliged if uh, if you can and you decide not to. Well, there might be some consequences. You can settle those debts if you settle a debt for me. Clear those damn mines. Um, they're they're the source of these uh, these these uh, problematic occurrences. If you just deal with them, um, whatever's causing it down there, that's driving my workers mad. Uh, then we can, we'll let bygones be bygones, and, uh, you can go, uh, on your way to, um, to see your friend. I, I think, I think Laszlo kind of, like, uh, presses the tip of the blade to the, to the tattoo on the mayor's arm, and he's like, now, you say that, but this mark suggests that you could deal with that problem very easily yourself, if I'm not mistaken. But perhaps I'm thinking too much of you. Uh, yeah, he's he um he looks at you and he's like, my mark does a lot of things, and uh, let's just say, let's just say me solving it that way might be a little too uh, too costly for the time being. It's cheaper to go with uh, contractors. Laszlo kind of flicks the knife around. Um, I was gonna do something threatening, but probably not. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think Laszlo just is kind of like, so we've reached an impasse. We all need something. Multiple parties involved. Everyone wants something. Everyone can get something for someone else. The question is, is who's got more leverage here? Um, mm -hmm. I guess I'm not sure how the, the demons appear, but I'm, I feel like we each see our own, but they're kind of just sort of like a figment to us, like pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. And so I kind of look over my shoulder at the um, at the good doctor who's like taking one of the chairs and like is like sitting in it and kind of like 
uh, writing down. And so like I look over at him and then he looks over at me and our eyes kind of meet. And then his eyes like the re- his red eyes like kind of give a little glow and then mine match a little bit and I look back to the uh, back to Gus. And um you're using your power. Yeah. Okay. Um we can we can use our powers against other people that are marked, correct? Yeah. Like they're not immune from it. All right. Totally. Just making sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um so more than anything, um, Gus Hackard wants to be the um, he wants to be like the next uh, Dale Carnegie, right? Mm. He wants to be mm. like a robber baron. Yeah, he wants to have all the money and power that mm-hmm. comes from running a successful business. Okay. Huh? Is that like he wants to get out of the town and expand his enterprise to like take over the West? Or yeah, he yeah. no, no, that's exactly what he wants. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He wants to build the first uh, transcontinental railroad. Yeah, okay. before it, like been... he wants, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so, Mr. Hackard, I think, I think you're, uh, not, I think you're going about, uh, I think you're going about this all the wrong way. I know you're a man of, you're a man of, we've seen you're a man of taste, you're a man of smarts. This, this little town, it's going to run dry. And then what are you going to do when that happens? Oh, um, he, looks at you, he looks at you and he's like, oh, it won't, it won't run. It, this town will not run dry for quite a while. I have, I have guarantees from my friend, from our friend, that it will not. Our friend's guaranteed many a thing and has not. Our, our friend has a, has a loose definition of a promise. So how do you mean? I just kind of look over at the three, at the other two, and then bend down to myself and just like, <laughs> if if he if he kept his word on certain things, then uh, the three of us wouldn't be wouldn't be in the in the state that we're in. So, uh, however, I consider I consider ourselves to be more of a man, more men of uh, men of their word. So, how about this? So what? Okay. If you, and I kind of like reach into my coat and I pull out like a uh, kind of like fairly crumpled, but mostly intact and together, like a big stack of papers. Mm-hmm. And I like walk over to his desk and set, set him down and kind of like slide him over. Um, what do the papers say? He reads them. They're over. like, yeah, they're like uh, land contracts from like um, west to somewhere in the east or something like that. Like, Something like that, where it's like, uh, it's not like you don't own the state, but like the right to build and the right yeah. to do business on this on these areas. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I slide them over to him, and it's like the next state over, the next state over, basically all the way over to the east. Yeah. Yep. Like, and so it's like um, this might have cost quite a pretty penny. Certainly does. Uh, but we got I got more friends than the one that we have. Uh, uh, that that's the same as the one we have together. So, I think he's like, if these are if these certainly do look legit, um, I think I would reckon. Uh, I guess I guess what you're I get what you're saying. I guess with these, uh, I don't, there's not really any uh, need for for our friend then, right? Is that what you're saying? Like out of character, the, is that consider, what you're getting at? Consider these to, consider these to be insurance. This town. You, uh, our friend has fickle tastes. If he decides to hmm. let your let your let your black gold run dry, you got a fallback plan. Maybe, yeah, maybe maybe the better uh, maybe the better deal would be you um you take care of our friend for me, and then I'm safe to run my business. Then, if you can lead us to him, we we certainly will do that. Last, sure. Uh, I heard that he's um. He needed something from uh, the 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 weeping lady, uh, like our our weeping lady uh, missionary, um, or our mission, our mission of of, of the weeping lady um, uh-huh. out in uh, outside uh, Calandro, uh, a mm-hmm. few uh, a couple a couple of hundred miles uh, west of here. For what? I have no idea. 
But I Plus, know, uh, kind of groans from behind, and he's like, "Oh God." <laughs> Leslo like Leslo kind of speaks up from behind him and he's like, "All right, all right. This rail line goes that far, doesn't it?" Oh, certainly. And he's like, That's "Well, a, it's on the way over to um to uh some some uh yeah. Las Platas, right? Like okay. a, a big city." Mm-hmm. Um so Leslo's like, "All right. I'll be willing to I'll be willing to agree to this as well. I'm I'm, I'm sure the Pete already has." If you get us some uh, better accommodations while we're traveling by rail, I'd uh, I'd rather not sit in the back with the rest of your explosives. <laughs> he snorts. Um, it's like, sure, I can give you. Uh, I'll give you some some coach tickets. And he kind of nods and he's like, I was not aware that freight trains had coach coach uh, coach passengers, but uh, they I don't. See that you're a very efficient business. <laughs> well, his do because. <laughs> well, he was going to just basically make sure you just you have a box car uh, with yeah, some yeah, straw gotcha, in gotcha. it instead of, instead yeah. of explosives. I know it's just funny. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Is there anything anything else we want to do in this town, or are we going to wipe over to? I still um, got my business to take care of. <clears throat> okay. Um, am I the only one, or do uh, just I think so? I, um, I mean, do you, I, don't, I don't really have any business with the sheriff at all. It's no, kind of just just passed. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um. And I think before we head out of here, um, Laszlo kind of like uh, takes the mayor's hand briefly, um, and like it's it's very like gangly and tenuous, and it's basically just bone and tendon. And he kind of like shakes it as best as he can, and he's like, "I I, I need a little bit of assurance for you on some minor thing before we depart here. Uh, I'm certain you can bring in another sheriff or not sheriff, another surgeon from out of town. Yes." Oh, of course. If yours happen to uh, be misplaced, say, mm. down in the mines or a, a pit of molten lead in a freak accident, you know, things happen. Sure. Doc Porter has, uh, I think, served his, his purpose here. Um, Leslo kind of nods and he's like, well... Give uh, me, I think give me a way of a soul, actually. You're trying to persuade him. Oh, okay. Um, this one, what's a D4? One. Okay, yep. great. Cool. Market totally. Success. Absolutely. Um, so um, I also say, in, in point of fact, uh, I think there's some uh, there's some documentation uh, that the man has around that, you know, just some medical records. Those those can be replicated, can't they? I mean, you know, when a new surgeon gets in here, what if, what does it matter if they go missing, right? Uh, he looks like it's not my concern. Um, and uh, and uh, Lazo's kind of just like very insistently grips his hand a little bit tighter. And like, that sounds like, that sounds like a problem for doctors, eh? Not doesn't really affect my business. Um, he he grips the hand a little bit tighter. He's like, well, I'm aware of that, but uh, it might become your business if you were to say let them lie. There's uh, there's some careful information in there. I'd rather not have exist for the moment. So if you can ensure that whatever accident falls our befalls our dear Dr. Porter, that it also happens to befall his documentation, mm. I would be much more appreciative. Uh, sure. I'll uh, I'll see if the fire marshal sees if that place is up to code. And uh and he uh, he nods and his his mouth kind of turns into a smirk again under the bandages and he's like, Well thank you kindly. I don't think we'll have any further problems then. Yeah. Cool. Excellent doing business with you. Nice. So we cut to we cut to a train. Mm-hmm. Nice. Back on a train, going going out to uh to the mission of our weeping lady. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's see. Oh, my soul goes down a little bit for that. <laughs> yeah, I knocked it down. Um. Okay. As long as you have a record of that, just make sure. Okay. So let's describe. Um, a little bit about our 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 mission of the Weeping Lady. Oh, yay! New creation. So, um, how do how do the people there? We don't have to do all the questions, but um, how do the people there make a living? How does the Devil John's corrupting influence touch this town? Let's start with that one. Oh, the yeah. influence. Mm-hmm. Um, our mission of the Weeping Lady. So is it is it just a mission or is it like a town and then the missions in the town? 
I don't know. I just made it up on the spot, okay. man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I was going to ask. Um, I think a town would probably grow around a mission. Yeah, I think so, too. That, mm-hmm. that sounds more likely. Okay. Um, Maybe this is like a trade town or something? Like this is like a like a, like a, like a railroad crossroad or something like that? Junction? Railroad yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like a yeah, crossroads. Okay. Um, are we treating this as a border town or is it just like somewhere that just happens to have a, a high population of like immigrants? I assume this was a low population. Oh, okay. Or or low population, just like that's that's the culture that's there. Yeah, I assume like only like fifty people or something live in this thing. Okay. Right? Like it's um, mostly it's mostly like the mission, right? Yeah. I'm just making Which sure is like an not. Alamo looking building. Yeah, I'm just making sure we're not about to like ford over the Rio Grande to get to it or something. Oh yeah. <laughs> um hmm. So how what does the Devil's John's corrupting influence touch this town? Hmm. What's the what's the purpose of the mission? Is it for orphans? Maybe for education? Hmm. Yeah, probably that or um, missionary. Just well, I mean, if it if it or if both they grew a town like, around it, I'm not sure if it was just like spreading religion, mm-hmm. but maybe that's yeah. maybe a side purpose. Um, yeah, I like I like maybe like it. Um, maybe it's kind of like maybe it's like some sort of like all purpose thing. Like there's like a like it's a church, and then it's also like orphans go there and if they like they teach them and then they kind of send them out or whatever yeah, okay. it's it's trying to pick up like wayward souls and make them better yeah mm. at crossroads yeah so mm, corrupting influence um our mission okay so then let's modify the name to our mission of the weeping mother okay. that makes that makes well, yeah. more sense then for yeah. caring for souls especially um, orphans right yes mm-hmm. um I guess. Let's see. So it, it so it built up around the mission, and then kind of became a junction town through that. Yeah. Yeah. So. How's that? Originally so for Wayward Souls orphans. Let's corrupt that. <laughs> or what dark secret does this town hide? Hmm. That every child that leaves the education system of the time. Carries the mark of the devil, John. I was going to say that, but I think it's a bit intense. Um, it's a one mm. shot. I'm fine with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. They uh, okay, so they corrupt um, the children yeah. to um, the devil, John. I like that. Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, how does the injustice or dark secret turn the townsfolk against the har- against and harm one another? Um. Hmm. I apologize for eating, by the way. Um, it's it's eleven thirty, and I've been up since like six, and I haven't eaten anything. So. <laughs> oh yeah. I was I was waning a little bit. I'm also eating. <laughs> um. um. Well, assuming the kids don't like go places and they just end up being a part of the town or maybe they get adopted into families, they start becoming like exceedingly uh rebellious and rambunctious and just kind of like wreaking yeah. the town. So maybe maybe it's like the next generation from when it started. So like the kids that the very first kids that went through the mission are now starting to have kids or like are now starting yeah. to And it's like things. the problems are compounding on themselves. Yeah. And so, like, in, like, by the next generation, the town's just going to be nothing but anarchy, and the church is going to be, like, the satanic shrine or something. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. My, my way of the blood sugar level <laughs> needed to get a star. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Was that a zero? <laughs> the threshold was at two. Yeah. Corrupt the... Um, so the children are um, causing havoc. Fine, I don't mind. I don't mind putting down some shitty kids. <laughs> <laughs> Who in this town can offer the PC something that they want? Hmm. Mm. Did he probably did he a person, or was it just the mission? That he said. Uh, he said he said he was doing. He didn't know what he was doing at the mission, but knew he was oh, heading gotcha. there. Okay. Maybe the mother superior. Yep. Okay. If we're assuming that it's like nuns that are leading the mission. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
Um, hmm. Okay. I see yeah. how this could work. Cool. Um, does anybody want a, a connection to this town? Because otherwise, I think I actually I think I have answers for the rest of us if, if we're cool. Hmm. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'll I'll take one. Okay. What um? No, like what what connection do you want to offer? Uh, how does a PC's past come back to haunt? I think that is Did this you is what. Hmm. Did you grow up here? Ooh. No, uh, but I think after um, me and my partner gave up the life of crime, that um, this is where Genoese went. This is like the trying to set the record straight, go on the path oh. of the righteous, is um, to go and yep. volunteer All right. to help out at an I know what I'm doing. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's cool. All right. I guess... A lot of this would make sense for a certain thing that uh, I mentioned earlier. Hmm. What? Uh, I sent it to I sent it to you privately, Eric. Oh. Mm. Well. In the Zoom chat. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um. So, I think I think we we cut to uh once again the the train uh tailing off and you guys on the, on the other side waiting for the train to go by. <laughs> and I think there's like this this winding kind of dusty road up to a um a couple like hovels uh, on a hill uh with like a large um sort of like Alamo looking building with a giant excuse me with like a giant cross on top of it uh, and I think I think like right standing like right up in front of you guys is like a um, little like archway and above it says like our, our mission uh, of the weeping mother and it's yeah. probably got like a picture of like you know like Mary or whatever like like crying or something like that uh, with her mm -hmm. with her arms open <clears throat> like surrounded by kids or something like that yeah um, what's interesting about this place is that um, there are uh, there's something weird on the ground uh, sprinkled all over over this 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 path? Huh. Uh, it looks to be kind of white. A um a ribbon uh, waves in the wind like a like a light violet color ribbon like waves in in the wind off a like off like an old cactus or something like that nearby too um so uh, um yeah quinn bends down like on one knee maybe grabs like a pinch of it of the white yeah powder, whatever it is like, rubs you, it between the fingers does this just a a quick little taste it's rice. Oh, we just lost Nick. I know. WTF, Nick? Come back. I need you. Um, yeah, it's it's rice. Huh. Um, clearly, uh, it was it's sprinkle and looking up to the path to the top of the missionary, or to the mission, um, there was there's there's it's sprinkled all the way to there. Uh, all the way up, up there. So, like this entire path is, is sprinkled with rice. Um, let me, let me. I have to fix um, the overlay because you came yes. back. Um. So, yeah, I I noted down in my book and explained to everyone there is rice everywhere. And make mention that that's weird, right? Yeah. Looks I to be like some sort of like festival just happened, and this is like the remnants of the festival. Mm -hmm. Oh, huh. Oh, God, everybody's messed up. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, um, 
Is this any sort of festival we might recognize? Or is this just, like, random? Yeah, it, could, it, looks, like, it looks like a wedding. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so Leslo kind of probably bends down and picks up, like, a few grains in his uh, fingers, and he kind of moves them back and forth, and he's like, yeah, this is kind of an, uh, an odd side, don't you think? Eh, happy things can happen in bad times, I suppose. Guess I don't even know if they're having that bad of times here. Yeah, the rice broke Skype. By the way. <laughs> Thanks, Zircon, for that. Yes. <clears throat> it is cursed rice. It is forbidden rice. <laughs> the forbidden um, rice. Um. Yeah, it looks to be like there was a party or a celebration. Yeah. Sure. I um, walk up to the door of whatever building it is and give it a... Yeah, it looks to be. Um, you hear you hear silence. Hmm. A bit odd for a church. Mm -hmm. It you hear nothing but the sounds of uh, like crows like cawing. A bit odd for an orphanage too, don't you think? I'd expect at least a few kids. Absolutely. Here's the door. Does it just open? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it creaks, creaks open slowly. Yeah, it creaks yeah. open and just sprawled out across the um, like the the plaza of, of this this mission are just like dead bodies of, of like of kids and, oh, and, and, and adults. They're just everybody just looks to be in like just they were all like shot and just just everyone is just laid out. Uh, it's just like nobody, nobody is is alive. It's just this this still quiet death. It doesn't even smell. It just it just mm -hmm. is this weird, uh, non decaying state of, of just of of death. Um, I think Laszlo kind of leans against the far wall. There's, there's like, a bunch like everyone's like wearing like kind of like nice shirts or whatever. You know, there's like yeah. flowers nearby. Uh, there's like um, streamers. Um. Mm -hmm. Lazo's kind of just like, I think we really missed the party. Look at this. And he still has like a, he has that same affable kind of cheery tone. In I his think, voice. I think the inside <laughs> here, you see like there are, um, like hard charred black footprints going down, um, like away from, from like the open, like the church further down in, um, with that, the, the church's doors are closed as well but you can see like coming down from those stairs you see like where like wherever these footsteps were that there was um some sort of like carriage nearby like like right where you guys are standing and um there were footsteps leading to it and then they, they stop but um these footsteps are like completely deteriorating the land mm. Uh, so like everything's just dying underfoot. It's not just yeah. Like... Wherever wherever the step is, it just looks like there's like just this this trail of of decay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I like like kind of like crouch down and like like my my hand kind of near him and not too many people uh, leave mark like that. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Um, Band they yell it into like the empty space, just like a hello. Anyone? I'm just like crowing. Meets no, you. yeah, you just you just hear the sounds of crowing. Um, I think. Um, um, I actually, I think you. Uh, I think you might hear the faint sound of crying from inside the church. Hmm. Um. Just like, the bodies are like. Are they like shot or are they like just lying? Oh no, nothing? they were they were shot, but there's there's no okay. blood. Okay. Clean to the like, head or just kind of like randomly. Randomly, oh okay. So this is like somebody just like just unloaded, right? Yeah. Okay. So it doesn't look like hits. No, and there, there's like no, there's no like disgusting gore or anything. It just looks like like movie, like you were shot, right? Yeah. Um. Hmm. Uh. I think I think uh, Laszlo goes over to one of the dead bodies and he kind of just like gently runs a few fingers down and he's like, "I'm not I'm not aware of many weapons that can leave marks like this either." You look, uh, one of the kids looks uh, eerily like a young Pete McCluskey. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I think Laszlo kind of motions and he's like, Pete, come mm -hmm. come check out something real quick. I, this is looking a little bit weird to me, a little bit peculiar. 
All right, yeah, I, I walk over. Um, and I, I motion down to the dead kid, and I'm like, that looks a little bit uh, auspicious, don't it? And he just kind of stands there silently. You, um, I think, I think you get like a quick flashback or something like that, or like for for a second, like the kid's eyes open up to you, and and like it's like he like lifts his head up a little bit, and he's like, "Why did you leave me?" Like and like it, it's like a quick flash, and and like he's, you know, you, you shake your head, and and he's 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 back yeah. to being deceased. Does only he see this? Yeah. Or do I yeah, see it? No, in no, only only, uh, <laughs> only. He. Um. Yeah, so like, like does that happens and just like, like shakes his head and I the last low kind of turns to him he's like what uh and he like yeah, he like wipes his eye for like a second and then just uh sad to see so many the death of so many children you know well as kind of laughs and he's like no you ain't and then he puts a he puts his blade away and kind of steps back and away from the whole thing Meanwhile, like, um, Quinn's is just, like, seeing that happen is kind of, like, looking over all the rest of them to see if there's, like, any other younger-looking... Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's, like, a handful of kids around of different ages. Uh, there's still, like, food and stuff, like, presented out, like, you know, uh, I guess, like, standard Tex-Mex kind of dishes for, for a, um, a large gathering. Uh, they're all, it's, like, it's all looks like it's untouched. Uh, it's not like rotten or spoiled. It's just it looks like it's all like still fresh, but it just hasn't isn't moved. Hmm. Um, it's just like an eerily timeless death place right now. Yeah. Uh, sans sans some sort of like crying from inside the church. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, with like a, with with kind of a like a stuttering voice, like a just a slight shake to his voice. See, like uh, so um, maybe we should go check that out. Um, <clears throat> as you say that, Laszlo kind of reaches over and grabs like a stray bottle of some kind of tequila that's sitting out, and he just kind of like quickly puts it into his coat, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready, I guess." Hmm. I think. Um. Okay. So you guys, do you guys open the door to the church? Uh, yeah. I think I think I venture to go first, and I kind of just like slowly push open the second door. Yeah. Uh, that leads into the church <clears throat> you just see like um so like also like in the church you see a bunch of like dead people in the pews mm. um in a similar in a similar state of uh, repose as, as the people outside but um you see like near the front uh like uh, of the church um you see the the source of, of the crying and it's like it's it's someone in it's a it's a lady in a uh, bridal uh outfit um, just kind of like lying like on her knees uh, crying um, a pair of six shooters uh, rest near her that's hmm. she's like seem, she's uh, she just appears inconsolable yep yeah. um, I think I think Laszlo draws a, a six shooter from his hip and just yes. kind of just has it ready mm-hmm. at this side yeah I mean, he, he does the, the cop- is this kill bill <laughs> Well, just out of concern. I mean, maybe it might turn into it. Pete does a cop thing where he doesn't draw it, but he just kind of touches it to make sure it's still there. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Laszlo's like holding it very cash. Like he doesn't intend to shoot anything, but just like if he has to, it's right there. Yeah. Doesn't even have to draw it. So he kind of steps into like out of the way of the aisle to let you guys kind of like go first and he'll just be yeah. back there in case you need I it. I think um, Quinn, I think I think you feel <clears throat> a, yeah. a heavy, heavy heart right now. Yeah, I I think I'm going. I like do the hand back sort of like whoa, hold on, you two. Yeah, you hang back a bit, and I I'll go ahead with the gun. I terrible trigger discipline, like the the fingers yeah. ready to. Go, but <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'll I'm going forward in this one. Um, you see, uh, straw blonde hair beneath the uh, beneath the the veil. Uh, which reminds you of somebody in particular, um, and uh, crying near the altar is 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 Genoese, uh, just just inconsolably crying. 
Jenny. There's a there's a bouquet like near her. Uh, there's like every everything just around is is nearby mm-hmm. for like a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. And you say Jenny. Yeah. Uh, I think I think she just keeps crying. Uh, like she didn't even hear you. So I I like gingerly step forward, and mm-hmm. kind of like reach my fingers under the veil. Yeah. And flip it over. And uh, swish. Y- awesome. Um, <laughs> I think I think you just see like just like a pure skull. Uh, and it's just like it just keeps making the same crying sound, but like so it's almost like a like an a illusionary kind of like veil, uh, around it. And um, it you just hear it like stop crying when you like, like for a second, and it, and it just like looks at you and it's like, he left me at the altar. Like, the devil John wanted to marry me. More, which is more than he could have ever done for you, like than you. Um. And I think um, I think she like starts standing, and she's like, "Why didn't you marry me, Quinn? I loved you. You stay right there, Jenny. No further. No further. All right. What do you what um, um what does what what does Pete and and Laszlo do? So like this. When, yeah. You you, act- you see her start. Oh, by the way, like you see her like stand, and she is she is far taller than like what she appeared to be. Right. She's like she's like eight feet tall, very gaunt. Yeah. Right, when, um, just like this full, like lanky, uh, willowy-looking um, bride. Yeah. When, fucking super creepy, right? Super yeah. creepy. Skeleton, when she went, skelly bride. Uh, so bride. Do we, do we, is that conversation just in Quinn's head, or is it like no. we hear? It? No, you hear it. Okay. Um. Actually, so when she says, "Uh, the devil John wanted to marry me," yeah, like in a very quick, like a mic, like a um. I forgot the word is like the uh like the the micro you know like the micro face movement thing that you can like yeah just that you like can't control but like um you see like the camera like right on Pete's face and it's like his like eye twinges a little bit and then his like hand kind of clenches into a fist and then go, like let's go but what? then like go right back to <clears throat> um Leslie's just kind of standing back and laughing to himself just like quietly under his breath. And he's folded his arms, so the gun is still drawn downward. He hasn't taken any sort of aggressive stance. He's just laughing. Yeah. Uh, I th- she's just, like, saying, like, he he left me just like you did. I had no choice, Jenny. You knew that. You knew that. Why, why does everybody run from me? Yeah. I just want to be a good person. Oh, and, and she's start- shit, girl. <laughs> yeah, and I think I think she's just like like open arms, like trying to go over to you, like for like a hug or something. Yeah, and you, I see you like keep like coming, like stepping <laughs> back, slowly walking backwards. Yeah. Like, um, I'm gonna be- and so like I think I think the angle you find you guys like everyone else sees that uh, that she her head's just a skull. Um, yeah, and it's like, why does everybody run from me? It's like what you see. Uh, can I make a uh, a will of the gun test? Uh, yeah, what are you trying to do? I am trying to blow her arms off. Both so of them. You're going to start shooting? I just want to take the arms off. Okay. Handicap her a little bit. Sure. So let's see. So let's roll one of these. Please. Okay. That's good enough. Yeah. So you <clears> partially <throat> succeed. So I draw the I draw the shooter out pretty much still casually, and without uh without even putting a second hand on it, I just briefly like shoot at the joints between her really gaunt arms, um and the size of the bullet basically just causes the the uh the elbow to burst and the arms just kind of like yeah. fall off. They just inches. yeah. So now it's just like draping a bridal cloth, whatever, <clears throat> yeah. and it's like she doesn't even care, right? Mm-hmm. It's like she doesn't even notice that they're gone, and it's like mm-hmm. why does everybody run from me? Um. It's like, like everyone. It's like this was supposed to be my day. Um, it's like everybody. Everybody's supposed to be happy and and alive, and I think at that point, like a um, like a like a dark umbral kind of shadow like erupts from her, and it seems to like start like going into the bodies around you guys. 
Oh, oh shit! Fuck. Um, I I I I yell, uh, Genoese DR Mitz. This is your last warning before I put seven bullets into your skull. Um, she laughs and is like, Quinn, I've I've so moved on from you now. It's 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 too late for this. I was just hoping we could we could talk, but see, I'm I I just the devil John got me more than you ever could. And you know what? I don't care. You left me. I will. I will. I will wait for him. And uh, you should. You should wait for him to return for me too. And, Can I roll uh, away at the gun? Oh yeah. <laughs> I, guys, I think we're gonna start shooting this guy. Yeah, at, I'm gonna shoot course. her in the head. <laughs> right yeah. before this, I think Laszlo shouts like, "Quinn, sort your shit out right now! I ain't fucking around anymore." Yeah. And then. <laughs> uh, same. I will. I will oh, add my okay. guns to this too. Okay, so it's. Kind of a success. <laughs> wow, you got a six. So you got a barely a success. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Uh, Quinn's wave a gun. That works. You got a three. So uh, you start shooting her, and like she just like gets a, like explodes explodes in, in like a shattering thing of like uh, of, of bone dust and, and particles as you guys just uh, perforate uh, her her body. Until there's like almost like nothing left of just she just turns into like a just a a, a sack of um of just the the clothes right like the bridal clothes uh, just mm-hmm. collapse to nothing, but um the bodies uh, like around you guys start stirring, and they're like waking up and like, mm-hmm. like with like the bullet holes in them and everything like that right, they're like just like getting up uh, their eyes are just like glossed over, and and coming for you. Uh, I shout over do? to I shout over to Pete, and I'm like, Pete, I uh, I don't think we got the bullets to handle this. What do you want to do? I mean, I uh, I kind of swiped a little something from the train a while back, but I'm not sure we uh, we can get clear of the blast fast. <laughs> uh, well, looks like what we came here for ain't here. So, let's we'll say we get the fuck out of here. I, I like that plan. Seconded. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. Yep. <clears throat> um, mm-hmm. So, uh, just just for coolness sake, I imagine that as, like, Lazlo's backing out of here, he draws, like, he puts away the six-shooter and basically just draws, like, a Winchester out. Winchesters existed by then, didn't they? Uh, yeah, like a okay. repeating... Yeah, so he draws a repeating rifle. He draws out a repeating rifle and like just kind of just starts like blowing away at anything that's kind of following them out. And I imagine the the corpses are trailing behind, kind of like zombies, right? They're just yeah. kind of shuffling. Yeah. But uh, I think I think when you guys leave the church, though, uh, I think you see Genoese again now as a ghost. Uh, mm-hmm. I think I think she comes as like, oh, you can't get rid of me that easy. You must stay. Um, and I think I think she tries to like her arms start to like extend like ghostly arms and try to like grab all of you what do you do hmm. how do um, we deal with ah uh, shit uh, can I make a ghost forget things uh no I think it's only people great <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> How do we kill ghosts? So, is um, she? Can I? Can she... I? Can I actually amend that a little bit? Mm-hmm. Okay. Can, I'll have her. I'll have her actually. Um, you see her spirit, and um, it's like you can't get rid of me that easily. And I think you see it like go into one of the bodies yeah, that are animating. Bodies, yeah. So like it like takes over another girl, but she's talking. So like it's like an old lady now, but she's talking with the voice of of, of Genoese. Mm. So um. Was she, did we get, I guess, from what the whole thing was, uh, so she is pissed at John because of all of this, or she is like, I'm waiting for John to come back? Waiting for John to come back. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, all right, I guess, um, <laughs> it's, oh, this, is, this is definitely going to be way of the bastard, but, uh. Um, oh, I think I know what you're trying to do. So, he's gonna basically like put the gun away, and just like uh, 
He's like, yeah, he looks to the person that she she took over. Sure. And um probably some nun, right? Some old nun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and um, and uh what the f- I guess I'm not sure. I I don't know if I want to go on a really deep swearing spree, but um like what the hell makes you think you're so freaking special? Like you th- you think you uh you're going to get him to come back by just sitting here and waiting for him? Yeah. Three of us are actually going doing work to find him. You can't just wait sit sit waiting around for something to happen. And um I'm uh, mo- movie speech yeah. etc basically trying to like demoralize her to think like uh the zombies have stopped moving and zooms in very close on your face. Sure. <laughs> it's all this um, the negotiation. Yeah, like he like but he what he's trying to do is uh like get it, get put it across to her that like she's that he's not just going to come back for her. Clearly, he left because he didn't find her he doesn't want her anymore. Mm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. So I think that would probably be uh this probably be like an opposed role because she, okay. she doesn't she doesn't want to disagree with you or she right. wants she wants to not believe it. Right. So um she rolls yeah. a I would say yeah. I would say more but in the movies this would be like a 2 yeah. minute speech. So <laughs> It's about love. Yeah. So it's you have, you have to you have to be the four. Oh. Oh man. Okay. Um I guess can I do I'm be, well, way of the bastard because I'm being mean about it, but uh, can I do way of the soul because I'm trying to use like uh, words to solve this? Are you solving with honesty or integrity, or are you trying to lie to her? I guess, I guess I'm being brutally honest. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. buy that. Roll. Okay. I got a three. Yeah, you did it. Okay. Um, so you, you, you barely succeed. Nothing oh, um, So yeah, I think I think the zombies start shuffling or stop shuffling and uh she she looks at you and is like What are you talking about? He loves me. He still loves me, I know it. I know it in my heart. Why would you say that? Genoese your heart to love. I know that. If he that. Maybe maybe he did love you at some point, but he left. He left for a reason. I don't I don't, I don't try to know what no, that bastard I, she's like, thinks. But. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I believe he's coming back. He's gotta come back. Please. I have to. I think I think Laszlo kind of steps forward setting the rifle down. He's like, Darling, Devil John Moulton only loves himself. The only thing he ever saw in you was a way to you know exceed those ends. He ain't coming back. So I think you should Not give me. Unless you got anything else to offer him, and by the looks of it, you don't. You should give. You should probably do a way of the soul. Yeah. And she's she's also going to try to. I meant resist. um I meant three for that, aren't I? Uh, because I think I did a way of the soul before. Y- yes. I think I did one. Yeah. Uh, with the mayor. Okay. Still beat. Oh yeah, you oh, crush wow. it. Yeah, you crush it. Um. <clears throat> So I I try the same I try the same route. I'm brutally honest about Devil John. I don't try to like insult okay. her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think I think she's like she she like tries to put her hands to her ears like I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And like she uh I guess she would do uh, I guess she would like explode or something, right? That would be cool. Uh like like just like overloading uh just uh, like the body tears itself apart. Yeah, cuz like her her all, her entire existence is disbelief. So it's just like you're, before it. you're causing her to be real, um, and admit like her 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 life, and so I think I think it starts like her her spirit starts getting like sucked away. Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> and and just before like it it goes, like Quinn steps forward for like the the last killing blow and is like, you know, Genoese, the Devil John never loved you, but Ash sure as hell did, but you just never saw it. <laughs> nice. Ammo. <laughs> you loved her enough to end her suffering. Ah, uh, okay. Do uh, we fade to black on the gunshot? I think so. I I don't think we have time really to continue for I don't another think one. I did, but... Which sucks because I finally feel like I feel like we spent so much time in that fucking town that like yeah. <laughs> for a yeah. one shot. Um, yeah, this game really needs like more than one session. It does. <laughs> okay. <It is. clears throat> 
Um, so we only got to our con- like our contest roles for the second part. Um, mm-hmm. Cause I realized that I, I think I was GMing it incorrectly a little bit the first time about um, when I should be asking and calling for roles and competing roles. Mm-hmm. Um, however, I feel like for like powerful NPCs that are infused with the power of um, the Devil John, that they get like they get that extra D twelve, which counts against the way of the Demonic Overlord, and like that starts how stuff starts counting down. But like I don't think we got yeah. that until the very end, which was way mm-hmm. too late. Um, but I still had fun. I don't know about you guys. Oh yeah. This is like part one. You just killed the bride of of uh, mm-hmm. the devil John, right? So, yeah. And then I, I've yeah. without more to do, like all of the secrets and all the stuff that we were kind of keeping in our back pocket, don't really get to see the light of day. Yeah. yeah. But that's, see, that's that's always inherently the problem with one shots is that right. Like, right. And, it yeah, is and hard to do backstory. It's right. the hardest thing to fit in there somewhere. Yeah, because you need like an yeah, inner. It's, a, yeah. it's definitely not a bad, not not a bad thing. Yeah, it's just being in, in, inherent to how we're. Well, how it's we're a nuisance. Right. It's a nuisance. It's yeah. it's a. It's a yeah, problem. The, yeah, the most you can do is hint at things, and I I was trying yeah. to. We could. Yeah, I think ultimately this game needs about five hours. <laughs> I feel like we could have finished it probably in two, yeah. two more hours. So we could have stretched out a little bit more time, added in a few more towns. Yeah. I think mm-hmm. I think like two more towns would have done it, and then then have a showdown. Is the way I thought mm-hmm. of it in terms mm-hmm. of temp of pacing. Yeah, that would have so. worked. Yeah, but yeah, this was a yeah. this this the game was awesome. It's, it's a blast. Yeah. Yeah. Thoughts? <clears throat> yeah. I I I'm uh I think what surprised me a little bit is that we all picked like fairly kind of either passive or manipulative powers. None of us picked yeah. any, like super destructive. Mm-hmm. And I I was kind of thinking about that, and you know, I was like, we don't have any like mega death ray touch everything and it dies within a given area so yeah. that was kind of interesting i kind of appreciated it though because like mm-hmm. I, I don't like the idea of you just oh i walk into town and everything i touch dies mm. yeah. like, so I, I found it kind of interesting that we all ended up picking something that was either like yeah that was definitely pretty interesting to see yeah or it just happens it was cool yeah i i, I guess i'm a little bit disappointed they didn't trigger as often but whatever mm-hmm. oh. that's the risky run yeah. Um. So overall, uh, I mean, I want to play the Double John Molten again sometime. It's just like it's super hard because I'm doing one shots. Uh. So I see. I see. Ignat just showed up, and I'm. I'm super sorry that you caught the tail end of the game. Uh. So this is not D and D Fifth Edition. Uh. This is a. This is a indie RPG called the Devil John Molten. It's free, on uh, on Drive Through RPG. Uh. It's totally free. Uh. It's by Teapot Dome Games. Um. Yep. It is. It is just. It is literally a uh, Wild West Quentin Tarantino, uh, <laughs> devil, sorcery, uh, bandits, ghosts of brides, uh, you know, everything that you could ever want um, all rolled into all into one game here. Um, yeah. So how about since we're not going to come back to this game, how do you think we how, how do you think this would end? Right. How do you think we, we would have a I, what's the I, ending to the I story? Guess, should we? We could speculate. Uh, my I, I guess. Do we want our like, ideal ending or how we think it would logically end? Yeah, it is like the hateful eight. It's like the hateful eight with more yeah. magic. Yeah, it is. Yeah, hateful eight <laughs> yeah. magic is a very good way to. Explain yeah, that's it. that's a that's a great way of explaining yeah. it. Hmm. Um, I guess I'm not sure. I guess it would depend on how because obviously we all have our own thing going on mm-hmm. while yeah. we're while we're working together. We all have our own thing going on. So I guess it would just ma- it would depend on which of us gets what we want. I'm not sure how that would play out, though. Like, if we would. Well, start... I guess I guess at the end we all kind of get what we want, and then we have our own epilogues, kind of like okay. the ending to our stories after we deal with uh, John Moult. Okay. Mm-hmm. So each of us, well, each of us I, something else. I'm. I, the reason I'm wondering how it would turn out is because unless m- mine wasn't to kill him, mm. mine was my secret goal was to join him. Oh, oh okay. Nice. Mine was to That's possess how it was uh, eight months ago when I ran this game. Somebody did that and killed a uh, killed another player at the very that, end. That sounds about right. Yeah, that's why I'm more, I'm very much like, would we have ended up just shooting each other? Would we have ended up like convincing each other to do something else? Like, well, if yeah. you'd killed me, I would have possessed the Devil John Molten's body, and that would have also had know? another player. That would have been cool. <laughs> okay, that like, actually you think you really crossed cool. me. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of insane characters recently, and this is just yeah, kind no. of. This just kind of happened. Well, that's not even insane. That's just kind of that's co- that's cool. No, no, no. no. There, there was plenty. Of, there, there, he he left his wife because he fell in love with John Moulton. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, there oh, there were a nice. lot of things you had in your back pocket that you didn't tell us about. What were like yeah. some of the, uh, the best? Well, that was when she, when when, when she said like he felt he we loved each other and he was going to marry me. That's why I, I like when like right after she she says that you see his eye twitch and his oh, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was uh, guessing at that. I was like, why yeah. would that be significant? Yeah, I was, yeah. I was thinking. Uh, do you uh, love uh, John Moulton? Yeah, the jealousy. Yeah, exactly. uh, apparently yes. Yeah, the jealousy the, is a really cool touch. As I, yeah, as I was putting the cards together, it kind of like and, and, and especially the one that you're like you're uh, at least obsessed with him. Yeah, yeah. like possessively obsessed. Because uh, Foe gave me, I killed my wife, mm -hmm. oh. and so in my head the story went he was having a lot of trouble with his job in the marriage and then john moulton came and was just this amazing demonic cool thing and it just never like nothing ever measured up to the time he spent with john and so he killed his wife and left his kids oh, so he went for his best bud that he made friends with <laughs> yeah <laughs> totally oh, dark. Harsh. yeah <laughs> Oh my god. Uh yeah. my I think my ultimate goal for my character was like like I said, he basically just wants to live out the rest of his like eternity in peace. So he wanted right. to get rid of Bolton and basically I probably would have ended up killing you both too. Yeah. Because he just no, he kind of wanted you, peace. You, you possess John Moulton. We just we, we OT, OTP of Pete and Laszlo. I guess, oh but God. like if you took I over mean, the body the, of the point of Laszlo is just ultimately to kill everyone that knows him, so that he <laughs> ultimately would have had to kill you guys for sure. Yeah. yeah, there's no trace of his existence, and even if you right, were, exactly, yeah. So it would have been cool. I I guess yeah, in that I would have killed you probably. So <laughs> yeah, um, I had two chances, so maybe. Yep. Would we? Okay. So I, I definitely want to pick up uh, the Devil John again sometime when we, whenever we play. Yeah. Um, Def. Right. Uh, I, I would definitely pick. I would definitely put this back in rotation sometime for Once Upon a Game. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll, I do want to see. I'll, I'll focus like, on on uh, more of the speed of the game for a one shot. Mm -hmm. I think now that I, that I see the cadence of it again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I would also like to try a more active power. Mm, yeah. Yeah. That cause, like a lot of ours relied on something to happen. Yeah. yeah ours were triggered mostly. Yeah. 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 And which and, is cool, but yeah, I would definitely like to try like now that I've had this kind of passive power, I'd like to see more of like a. When I point at you, your heart explodes. Yeah, <laughs> or just well, something that's not yeah. even destructive. I when I leave a town or like when I enter a town, I can like name an object and the object just instantly collapses. Yeah, some, yeah. So, like, yeah. so I know I know Ignat just got here late. So just you're wondering, all of our characters have a special power uh, that mm -hmm. we sold our soul to, to the devil for. Um, I had and so the the first time you mm -hmm. do it is it, like free, right? Like the devil, the first try is always free, right? And then um, the second one always has a cost to it, and then the cost raises like depending on what what we agree yeah. to, uh, what like the devil would charge for for whatever your power is. So like your power to make someone's heart explode, like what does that cost? Does that cost like I have no idea. <laughs> like you probably have to like do something in high return blood pressure. For it. Yeah, <laughs> like, you would have to like steal. I don't know. Like uh, yeah, I have no idea what it would cost. I don't but... know. Like like destroy a church or something. Like I don't know. Like, it would have <laughs> yeah. to be something. You have to be like like, like crazy. Hand like a pint of your own blood over. Ooh, yeah, we. Yeah, yeah. I was actually, um, I was, oh, I, I was thinking country? that. I was thinking for um the the CEO of the mayor. If you guys were to kill him, what would have happened? Yeah, I would assume that he actually trades his blood for money. And so I feel oh, like if he would have okay. shot him or something, oh, yeah. it would have been. Just, I think like, it was gold. something like, economic. He would, he would have just been like eking molten gold or something like that's that. Cool. Yeah, like, that's really good. Like that's what I was thinking. But um, uh -huh. did you have one designed for the sheriff? Uh no. Oh, okay. I would have figured something out for that, but uh, yeah, yeah. Also, I don't know. I was I was gonna go with the molten creature thing. I don't know. I, I, I had a bunch no, of different. Cool. I was I was curious this. when you brought that up. I was like, is that one of their powers? Because that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So very uh, true. Just yeah. fucking with the mayor the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I should have done more like occult stuff with the game. So that's why I was start, trying to up that up a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, overall, yeah. it was cool. Yeah, it, it was it was spaghetti western the first half, occult western the second. I guess. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah I picked it up because we were running out of time. I realized mm -hmm. that we um we didn't do uh that as far as we wanted to. So I think that will that will wrap it up for today, guys. Right? For once, awesome. Once upon a game. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. so uh, thank you everybody for tuning in. This was uh once upon a game. This was season two, episode seven, uh where we played the Devil John Moulton. Uh, episode eight will be um. Monday, so I guess tomorrow. Yes. Uh, tomorrow yeah. at 9 p.m. Pacific. Uh, but if you, that's too late, the VODs will be on YouTube. We're playing Life on Mars, which is kind of yeah. like The Martian. Yes. Um, it's kind of like The Martian uh, slash Fall of Magic, which we which I've played in the past before. Uh, so like hardcore sci-fi, only like you tell it through like narrative scenes of a uh, manned mission to Mars, mm -hmm. uh, where you do some like research and stuff and before you come back. 
Um, so it, it's very much like a like kind of like a telling of a story of like the crew and the drama and when things break and that kind of <laughs> stuff. So it, and, and like why you have to do different things on the planet. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, so we're doing that. Yes. Uh, we're doing that Monday and Wednesday. Uh, two different one shots, two different groups. Uh, then we return Sunday at 9 a.m. Pacific with. Um, Oh shit! You know what? There's no, there is none. There's uh, no Sunday. There's, yeah. there's no tw- for the twenty fourth. Uh, I will be doing a Twitch meetup here in Seattle. Uh, oh cool. That, that I'm going to instead. Sorry. Um, so there will be no streams that day. But um, following that will be John Harper's Blade in the uh, Blades in the Dark. Um, yeah. For that for that day, and I awesome. think we're doing um, shit. What was the name of the game that we're playing? Once upon a game uh, for the One following Blades in the Dark. One last job. Yeah, one last job, which is about uh, cool. a crew similar to similar to kind of how Devil Don Molten is. Like you have like one last job, and you guys are all trying to like get out alive or like die during this this thing. Like something brought you guys back to like mm-hmm. you know you got you got out of the game, but like everybody's bringing you back in. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of story. Of the game. Yeah, right. It's like, but David, I'm the president. They have my daughter. <laughs> <Right>? Yeah, <laughs> it's like one of those kind of games. So uh, yeah, so thanks a lot, guys. Uh, that that would be it. the game. Yeah, that was, yeah, every single Harrison Ford movie in the 90s, the game. Um, so that that will do it for us today. Uh, in a couple hours, at 2 o'clock, I'll be going back into The Witcher. Um, so I'll see you guys then. Chicken uh, sandwiches! Yeah, chicken sandwiches for days in that game. So that would, that would be it, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, Ignat, thanks for tuning in, man. Thanks for the follow. I uh, hope to see you around here sometime soon. Um, yeah, uh, hope maybe if you're if you're interested in, in playing, actually, sometime, if you, if you want... Um, Go ahead and type in. I'll type in the command for you. It's a Discord. Uh, we run a little like chat server kind of thing called Discord, which is like a group and come out and hang out with us. Um, I have like a rotating cast of friends and people. I don't know how many people strong we are now. Like twenty or so, like twenty five more. Some of them. Yeah, and, and we we just play a lot. We I have a schedule I can send you, and yeah, uh, if you're if any of those times work for you, um, love to have you on. Uh, that's true for anybody watching the vods. Um, if you're interested. Uh, message me whichever way you can uh, send you a link to the discord we get you on here if you're interested uh, if you have a game that you want to actually uh, play sometime let me know um, I'm always taking suggestions uh, looking for cool games to play uh, I'm a games dealer yeah Zircon's there love you Zircon yeah. uh, we haven't done anything in a while and I, and I miss you I miss your pretty face um, so that yep that, that would be it so I'm Eric Volgaris <laughs> I'm the host and facilitator of this uh, also like kind of part time streamer doing things um Catch me here uh, or on the Twitters at, at Eric Fulgaris. Uh, Adam? Yeah, so uh, my name is Adam. I go by Tux Stradamus on here and Twitter and all the stuff. Um, I put all my stuff at TuxStradamus.com. So if you go there, you can find all the stuff that I do in case you liked seeing me here. Um, later on today, I'm doing a um, – we're continuing a and d campaign with uh, Swarg over on his channel. So that will be very fun. Um, we're playing fast and loose with D and D because it's not designed to do what we're trying to do with it. So we're kind of doing some, it's, we're trying to make it very character based. And as I'm sure, you know, D and D isn't, so we're, 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 ma- we're, we're, we're forcing it. We're, we're making it do what we want it to do. What is but, character yeah. in D and D? Is that a step? Can I add? <laughs> yeah. We're making, does we're it making... help me kill things? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can I heal <laughs> my party with it or not? <laughs> we're making it fun. And then, um, yeah, then I'll be here uh, tomorrow night for Life is Mars or li- life, on Mars. Life, life, is Mars. Mars. <laughs> life is Mars. Mars is life. Mars life, life is, is Mars. Mars. Mars life. Hashtag Mars life. <laughs> yeah. So. so it was awesome to be here. Thanks everybody for playing. Yeah. Thanks. And that was me. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for for joining me today. Mm-hmm. Nick. Hello, I am Matt Damon. I will be on Life on Mars tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I am Nick. Uh, you can find me at NickAnon2 on Twitter. It says it on the screen thingy that you might have been looking at. Uh, I will soon have a website where I will post things, and I am an amateur game designer. So if you want to ask me about my ideas, I will ramble about them to you. So you can find me on the Discord. I am yeah. there. I talk about stuff. Cool. Awesome. Yep. And last but not least, Fo, how are you doing today? I'm doing What's great. Up? This was this was fantastic. I'm still just foe on the internet as foe. Uh, you can find me anywhere by saying my name three times. No, <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm probably going to have like a website and like an actual Twitter handle and stuff by the time that I'm the next, next on the show. 
awesome. because I'm working on some stuff. And if you want to ask me about it too, you can find me on the Discord server. Come on by, say hi. If you want yeah. to ask us about what just happened in this yeah. game, right, let's see. Games so, in general. Yeah, we're we're all kind of like amateur game designer people, hey, like talking about games and playing <laughs> what games are all you the time. Doing? So, uh, you know, if, hey, if you're interested, want to want to learn more about games, um, that kind of stuff, let us know. I'd uh, love to have you. So, yeah, uh, that that'll that'll do it for us tonight, um, or this morning, Today. the day, time. whatever time, <laughs> this spans of time. Uh, so I'll see you guys in an hour and a half for more of The Witcher. So take care, everybody. <laughs>